So while we're doing the kitchen reshuffle, should I say, deep clean, we can also do a reshuffle. And we've got this table, here's the base. Tom will recognise it as the pl plate storage on the bottom, microwave used to live there where that fat stain is. And this is the top, well that's the top. And it's always been a little bit too big in my opinion, so I've decided to reduce it by 20%. Here are the offcuts, this from the front and that from the side. Now the only trouble I have is creating this return on the side. I've cut the section out so it will fold, I don't have a sheet metal folder. And I've been meaning to build one for a long time. So this gives me the opportunity to have a go. It might work, it might not but I'll be interested to try it. So I'm gonna cut this angle line up and I'm gonna see if I can make a sheet metal folder or a pan folder as they call them I think as well, or a break, and uh, see if we can fashion something up to put these folds in here. Actually it looks trickier than I think it probably is, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I need to cut some notches out here so I could get it into the break, I don't know. Let's play it by ear and see how we get on. Well, that was fun, folks. Sorry, no build video, but this is what I knocked together. It's, uh, hold on a sec. Some angle, as you can see, the bending function there. Uh, and then I put it together quickly and I realized the edges needed to slot in somewhere so I reinforced the frame here so that slit doesn't open up so we've got adjustable pressure coming down on this angle iron and then uh, cut a slit for it to slide into the edge bit and then Gemma and I pinned it down with some nuts here and we proceeded to bend and we got about 60% of the bend out of it and then unfortunately, because I'm only using 3mm angle, the angle did bend. So 3mm mild steel versus 1.4mm stainless. It was kind of an even match. So what I'd like to do is keep this. But what I'm going to do with it is upgrade it. So I'll just cut these uh, bracing bars off here and then order some 6 or 10 mil angle and we'll make it out of that stuff and I think once we've got one of these made up then we'll be able to start breaking, bending, breaking, it's called a press break we'll be able to start breaking sheet steel to make little items and if I put it together correctly like I can figure out a better way of doing this so this doesn't foul any pieces of metal that kind of needs to go a bit further back on the next one at least 50 mil then yeah we should be able to have a press break that we can just take the handles off there and it'll fold down into like a four foot by one foot space and we could live under there and I'm sure there'll be future projects where we can do loads of things with that so there you go Press break. I reckon this as it stands would very easily bend some smaller pieces of metal. Shall we try it? Yeah, go on then. So I've gone to the trouble of getting the tripod out for the camera. The gimbal. I've not done that for a long time, so you're lucky. Right, little bit of steel. Let's have a look how it helps with putting a bend. Let's say a 50mm bend on this. Like I say, I've slightly deformed the press brake, but even with it being slightly deformed, I say that is quite a result. So if I get some thick steel, some thick angle iron, then we can make the whole machine a little bit stronger and durable and we can reduce the radius of these bends a little bit but wow look at that it works 
It friggin' works. So we didn't get that far on the stainless, unfortunately. We managed to bend it like 60% of the way. And then what I've done, if you look along this edge here, I finished it off in the vise using my leather mallet just to kind of get that over. So we're a little bit bumpy up and down, so I'm just going to get a block of wood and like back it off and then tidy that up. Hopefully we can get a nice solid edge on it. And then I'm just going to nip these corners up with the welder. There's just three of them. And then that table's completed and then it will be time to cut down the base. So that should be a little bit easier, he says. <laughs> but on the base, I think what we've got, these are just angled, welded, so not a problem, we can do that. This is also just angled and it's got a fold on this side and it's bolted here. So if we just replace that fold, because that won't do it now, with a piece of angle and tack it on. That'll strengthen it because we were suffering from it sagging a little bit when there were big plates on there. That'll strengthen it and it'll also tidy, tidy that edge up so I need to chop. Oh, I've got to chop one edge off, haven't I? But I am going to have to put a fold on this unless I make a frame all the way round with some angle and then we just pop the stainless sheet on top. We shall see. Anyway, I'm far from finished. Lots more to do. It's just gone three o'clock. Well, I know I'm still at work, but it is 7.30. So, I'm kind of allowed. I'm going to have to stop pouring these beers one-handed, aren't I? Because we'll just get foam bombs. Although this one isn't turning out too bad, actually. It's all getting the glass on the way down, which is a good thing. If we can get it all in, that'll be sweet. And I can go and show you what I've been doing. Oh, boys and girls. Oh, floor. Looks great, doesn't it? Look at that. So, taking the bender off, oh, sailor, and uh, we've got the table upside down, finished pretty much, we're replacing these casters because they couldn't take the weight, look how flat that's gone, that's even worse, but the trouble is these were centre feed casters, these are external plate, base plate casters, so I've had to modify the centre plate section thing, that goes inside the square tube of the leg in there and then we'll bolt these said casters onto the plates like that. The only drawback is we are going to have a little bit of leg poking out either side but well it is what it is isn't it? It is what it is. It'll be an ankle smasher so I'm sure people will complain about that, but on the plus side, we have reduced by a 150 mil on this side and by 300 mil on this side, or was it 180? So but you've still got more room in the kitchen than we did before. Oh, you know what, folks? <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that is amber kin nectar, I'm telling thee. I've been wild at it today, as you can see. You always know when I've been just non-stop busy, when all the tools are out, nothing's been put away, and the floor is an absolute shizzle tip. Off cuts of steel everywhere, all this grinding dust... It's basically grinding wheels. I think I've got through five today. Five of these. But it is what it is. And you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs, as they say. And I broke a few eggs today. So we've managed to 
cut and reband the main top of the table, cut and reband and add uh, some angle iron for reinforcement. And I welded all this seam up, and it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Anyway, done that. Manufactured some feet plates. Manufactured, although it won't work for two point one point two mil stainless, but it will work for thin sheet metal. Manufactured a press brake. Oh. Something getting absolutely frazzled. Oh my god, I can see the smoke coming off it. Is that a giant spider? I can't even see what it is. Whatever it was, it is no more. Wow. Anyway, that distracted me. It was a massive insect, just got totally toasted. Uh, yeah. Tank's ready. Uh, can machine taken out of storage. Cleaned down. Jet washed initially. Then Gemma's been and cleaned it. A couple of things to note while I'm talking about it. Uh, these don't work. Standing up, these connectors, because it doesn't take much. Get a little bit of acid or something in there. Just totally dissolves the copper on the wires. So I have to put that one, that one back in. No big deal, just a couple of crimp connectors. But might be worth putting some hot snot on it. It's going again. Jesus, it's a big old fly. <laughs> anyway, we'll just let him frazzle away. I wonder if an arc fault detector on something like the consumer unit have picked that up. Uh, so yeah, I've just got to bolt these wheels onto here now and we will be going home when I've got this turned round and put together. I'll give you a quick shot of it though before we disappear. That's a bit of a bumpy ride, and this is in the way. Should have thought about that. Well, I set that up to be like a really cool sequence, <laughs> and it completely failed. Oh, come on, little pinty. There she goes. Beautiful. Cheers. Oh, that was a wonderful pint. Or oh, a wonderful 440 mil. Anyway. So there we go. New table for the hot pass. I think that works absolutely perfectly. A little smaller, but we're not going to have the microwave on there anymore, so there should be enough room for all the plates. These don't look all that bad, actually. So, if we're going to lock the wheels, you lock the wheels, and then ah, it won't move. Normally what I'd do is suggest that they're kicked around the side or something like that. God, my framing's a bit shit today, isn't it, boys? Around the side like that, look. There we go. And then they're not sticking out, you don't trip over them. If you know what I mean. Ah, right, that's ready to go back into the pub. I think I've done a really good job on that. You can see where I've beaten this edge in, but... You know... I've done a lot worse. I really have done a lot worse. And I know I haven't given you a proper fabrication video today like I normally do. 
um, but it's quite tricky and we are up against it now because I want to get this uh, pub sorted so we're ready to go and this beer should have been in can last week so we're behind on that um, and we have uh, yeah 12 days to go I think today no 12 13 14 days to go today for us 12 days for Chris Ashley over at the SIP uh, and the courtyard if you've gone and checked his videos out but they're opening on the 12th we're not we're waiting we're not opening on the Monday we're waiting till Wednesday before we open so there we go gives you a little bit of an explanation bit of a catch-up it's been one of them kind of videos today and it? it's been a catch-up video show have a look how mucky my face is that's not too bad is it now I'll get away with that right clocks have gone forward so that's not right it's actually 7.51 and I think it's fair for me to say I'm off home so I'll see you on the next one folks cheers